So a few years back now, Isotope dropped tonal balance on us. And it wasn't quite industry changing, but it massively helped the workflow of the home studio musician, right? because it gave us a real insight into the overall balance and tonality of our track natively in the door. And it allowed us to then control and manipulate that and adjust it to known curves. So we could trust what we're hearing in our studios just that little bit more. And then over the following years, it's found its way into every home studio, laptop, and even major studios alike. When Isotope released Neutron 3, Tonal Balance Control 2 came with it, and they introduced some more integration. And this was a massive improvement on workflow because you could look at your rough balance, grab the Tonal Balance plugin, and be able to just simply tweak it in real time, but not just tweak any old EQ. You could tweak the specific EQ that was roughly in the sound spectrum of where the issue was, either reducing it away to improve your balance, giving it a little lift up in the area that was needed. Now that Isotope have launched Ozone 10, update to tonal balance control, it's still on version two, but now it essentially integrates with, well, basically everything. Meaning from tonal balance, if you're using Neutron and Ozone, you can essentially mix and match and tweak basically your entire track from this one tool on your master bus with a constant reference of exactly where your track is in relative tonal balance terms. They have also updated the curves. This is really nice to see that they're keeping an eye on how music is changing and ebbing and flowing, and they can sit right on the pinnacle of what the current sound is. The other thing they've done is taken Neutron 4 and Ozone 10 in a new direction by essentially including the tonal balance control within the tools themselves, meaning you can actually take an individual track or element and apply tonal balance curvature and metering and adjustments to individual sounds, leading to a much more cohesive and intelligently mixed track, which is incredibly important for the non-perfect listening environments like the home studio, right? And something you might have missed in Ozone 10 is this can now directly interact with your custom curves that you've put in. Meaning you can take a reference track that you love the overall balance of, put it into Ozone 10, and then directly tweak your track in Ozone 10 to that custom balance with pretty much a single control. So you can pick so many different tools to work on your track from a single place in the smartest possible way. If you want to learn a little bit more about how this works in Ozo 10, check out this video here, which is dedicated to just using that tonal balance that's built directly in. I'll see you in that one.